Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Final Fantasy 16 playthrough. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we're hopefully going to finish up the rest of this side quest and do the bounties. I believe there's only three bounties left. And then there's one side quest we need to go over and read our letters for. So let's go ahead and do that now. I always want to hold X to run or hit L3. Also, after we're done doing all the side quests and bounties, we're going to look at all our uh, trophies, I think that could be. Like our tr trophies or mementos or whatever you want to call them. Go ahead and uh, look at these for anybody that wants to read them. If Joshua was worried about Jill, I should go and speak with him. Finish up reading the last few here. Um, I don't think we're going to do this right now. Let's just go to the main map. We're going to come over here. And we're going to do this uh, bounty over here. Do this side quest and then this side quest over here. I did go ahead and find all the bounties off screen ahead of time. <sighs> I was like, is Joshua with me? I don't want to take on this bounty by myself. Why the founder? Oh, holy moly. Oh, whoa. That's better. Yeah, I'm, I definitely don't want to take on this bounty by myself. Oh, I should have. Uh... Oh, no, I just used a potion. Duh. <laughs> uh, I know what I'm doing, I promise. Nice try. Wow, I, I just died. <laughs> That's a good start to the video, right? There's no turning back. Yeah. 
guy is no joke. Holy moly, dude. <laughs> Dude, this guy is like ridiculous. I thought that chocobo was, but That's holy better. moly. Rest if you must. Please on your enemy. Now, brother. Damn, he hit so hard. Oh, holy shit, yo. You gotta be shitting me. He's constantly dodging. That's all I can do at the moment. Oh, we almost got him down. Let's hope we can uh, kill him. Dude, this guy is just ungodly beefy. He's got a lot of moves. Definitely the reason he's called the Behemoth King. That's for sure. <sighs> Holy shit. Is this shit again? Nope, nope, nope. <sighs> Too slow. <sighs> nice try. I 
got bit off a little more than I could chew. Too slow. Oh, he's gonna do this shit again. Too slow. Hopefully this takes him down. Whew. <laughs> he was hard. I think he's was legit the hardest bounty we've done yet. Twenty-three thousand experience. Well worth it. No match for you, I toggle. <laughs> Uh, sure, Clive, sure. We burned straight through our potions, at least our uh, regular potions. That was a long fight. The entire village looks abandoned. Now... Which house would a bookworm live in? I want to go over to these uh, blue sparkly things. Okay, so we got one potion back. Interests were certainly varied. This is a Royal Army logbook. Did he take this from the local barracks? This is it. But if what it says is true, I need to get this back to the hideaway. Leaving so soon, stranger. We've been watching you. From a distance, so to speak. Subtle. I know who you are. Then we need not waste time on introductions. Hand me the book. Leave it in our care and return to your life. Your care? Do you mean to burn it or bury it? That is not my decision to make. But by one means or another, its contents shall be removed from the common record. Then I'll have to politely refuse. I won't let you erase our history. Then we find ourselves at an impasse. Very well. The book can just as easily be pried from your dead hand.
Let's see, shall we? I mean, these guys are a joke compared to what we just fought. It's so As I get legit beat into the ground there for a second. And staggered again. This guy does not stand a chance. Impressive, but we have other means. We shall claim the book yet. Why do you want it so badly anyway? It lays out in no uncertain terms the vanity and avarice of mankind. It tells the shameful history of the persecution and oppression of a gifted few by a giftless many. Would you say that this interpretation was correct? I don't know. You don't know. Your sword may be sharp, but your wits are dull. So let me answer for you. There is no correct interpretation of history. That a series of events took place may be proved beyond a doubt. But there can be no single, immutable explanation as to why they came to pass. It is a question of numbers and of belief. If enough people believe that a set of events occurred for a reason, that belief becomes the truth. So you're trying to control the truth? We are trying to protect people from themselves, from knowledge that would bring them naught but pain. That is all. You may keep the book for now. The world is small. We shall meet again. Until then. Wait! Damn it. Let's get this back to Vivian. Perhaps she can explain what that was all about. This one's called Litany of Errors. Let's go over to our journal. Run like the wind. Just like to make sure I know where I'm going. That's all. It's not necessary to put this uh, quest marker on. Quiet. No need to ride from here. This must be the orphanage. Hopefully the registry is still here.
conditioning. This is nothing short of torture. Disposed of. Herman wasn't exaggerating. It's a wonder he survived this place. I need to find that registry. This reads like a suicide note. Did the director go through with his plan? There's only one way to find out. Let's just keep following along. I have a feeling we're going to end up back over there anyways. A forked white tree. This must be the place. Could he really be buried here? There's something hidden among the roots. Let's see. This must be the registry. So many names. This place was a slaughterhouse. But where is the architect of all this misery? Oh, damn. It was only a matter of time, I suppose. This place is cursed. <laughs> I cannot see a thing through this tornado. Too slow. We not we might get to uh level forty nine. I'm done here. Let's get the registry back to Herman. Okay, so we're done with everything over here. Let's go to the main map. I believe there is... Yes, there's two over here. There's one right here and then one right here. So we might as well get the two bounties that are over here. We're going to head over to Northreach. And what can I do for you? I need some potions, ma'am. I do like a customer who knows what he wants. I'll be here if you need me. And how might I help the garrison today? 
depending on how long this all takes us, these uh, bounties that is, is going to determine on if we finish up everything in this video. I haven't seen any of those beastly blue eyed. So hopefully we can get the bounties done in a timely manner. Do be careful. I will. That way we can finish up the side quests. Gonna try to stay away from the raptors there. We're gonna be fighting a lich up top here. Pretty sure it's, yeah, we're getting close. I should have hopped on Ambrosia to be honest, but whatever, too late now. It's us or them. Oh yeah. He's not too bad. Thought he was going to be harder, to be honest. I had to say something, didn't I? Nice, we got our last dark steel. We can actually make that fucking sword now. That's I'm what I'm talking tired about. Of these things. Okay, and then we got one more over here. 
We can fast travel over to this one. Oh, damn. It's all your fault. Focus, brother. Only your death will serve. I didn't mean to do that. Be careful, brother. You will pay with your life. Now, brother. Kind of annoying that I keep uh, losing my lock on whenever he goes into the air. Nice try. Long live. Okay, well, we got all the side quests done and Damn it. Dion would have been glad to have you back at his side. Um we got all the side quests done. We just gotta go turn them in. Just to make sure. Let's head back to the hideaway. First things first, we're gonna make that fucking sword. Ah, it's a dangerous world out there. Let's stock up. You'll not find a better price than that. Come again. Oh, don't. I'm not much bothered either way. I keep wanting to hit X to run, and I have no clue why, but I do. Let's make this sword. So what do I owe the honor? So, will it be? Should last you a good while. Nice, we got a trophy for that. Anything else? No, that sword looks badass. Okay, we're gonna start over here and just work our way around and turn all this stuff in. Joshua, I read your message, and you're right, Jill is different. I don't think I'd realized how different, but since we've returned from Drake's spine, I've felt it more and more. 
I suppose it's not hard to imagine why. She doesn't think she belongs anymore. And that's why we need to remind her she is still one of us. To let her know that we still need her. Now more than ever. That you still need her. But how to do that? When last we were truly close, we were but children. Of course. Do you remember the time we accompanied Father on his annual tour of the Duchy? And Jill and I broke from the procession to ride up Man's Hill? Yeah, to see the snow daisies, I remember. It was the first time Father had allowed us to join him. And when he realized you were missing, he had the entire retinue down to the pot boys combing the countryside. <laughs> in the rain. <laughs> a thunderstorm forced us to take refuge in a grove of oaks before we'd even made it halfway there. It was the Lord Commander who finally found us, and needless to say, he was none too pleased. Then it seems you and Jill have unfinished business. What do you say? Man's Hill. It's not that far. No, true. Though I suspect it is also much changed. Little in southern Rosaria remains as it was when we were children. You're saying I should go and scout the area for bandits? I'm saying... We should first go and see if there are actually still any snow daisies left. <laughs> what would you do without me, Clive? Okay, we're gonna come over here and do this first, I suppose. This is the place, but... I'm sorry, Clive. There's no weapon spared. What do we do now? We keep looking. Man's Hill cannot be the only place where snow daisies grow. Perhaps, but... It's the only place I know of. You, of. Then why not ask someone who might know of another? Someone at the backyard? To the hideaway, then. Anything over here worthwhile? Nope. Let's hope one of the gardeners knows where to find snow daisies. I'm guessing we're going to bring a snow daisy to Jill. Say what you will, Lady Karen has seen our show. This should tide of. What brings you down from the heavens, Sid? I need your advice. Joshua and I are looking for a place where snow daisies grow. Preferably in abundance. Snow daisies. Then you'll want somewhere not too hot and not too cold. And where the winds are strong enough to carry the seeds. Uh, I reckon Man's Hill would be a good place to start. There in the Royal Meadows, perhaps? Both have similar climbs and the right elevation. If the Blight hasn't claimed them yet. Right. Thank you. Did you learn where we might find our flowers? The gardener here mentioned the Royal Meadows in Sambrek. Ah, the fields beyond Northreach. Well, if that's the case, then Yote was right. I recall that she kept the record of our travels, you see. So I asked her if she'd perhaps noted anywhere that snow daisies grew, and she mentioned Oilerfeist Bay. Whose shores border the meadows. Off we go then. <laughs> I 
We were just over here. Uh, and now my I helped the garrison today. If we would have just did this first and then took on that bounty, we could have killed two birds with one stone or two chocobos with one boulder. I haven't seen any of those beastly blue-eyed well, hindsight is twenty twenty, right? Do be careful. I will. Let's grab Ambrosia. Good girl. I wonder off in the distance if that used to be a mother crystal out there. Looks crazy regardless. Someone's brave. The meadows are vast. Where do we even start? Ryote mentioned the coastline. We can start there. Look, brother. Do you see them? I do. The flowers and our friends. Yeah! It's over. What do you see, boy? A big boy. That's what he sees. Let's hope this is the last one. Only one way to find out. Garuda! <laughs> Didn't take me too long, at least. That was harder than I expected. But found her. It was worth it. They're beautiful. <laughs> Do you think Jill will like them? She'll love them. Come on. Let's go. It appears my work is done. The rest as they say, is up to you. Well, you and the skies. We wouldn't want another thunderstorm now, would we? Um... Yeah, we'll just go... Uh, I kind of want to come up here first. 
And there I go, hitting X again. I honestly thought the snow daisies were going to be blue, but I get why they're white. Jill, there's something I'd like to show you. There is? And where might this something be? It's, uh, not here. Now, I know this is sudden, but how would you fancy a trip to Oriflam? There are so many. This is what you wanted to show me. I, I, I don't know what to say. You don't need to say anything. The smile on your face is enough. We've been worried about you, Joshua and I. Do you remember when I took you to Man's Hill? Or <laughs> tried to? How could I forget? You saw me crying and thought a change of scenery might lift my spirits. In the end, it earned me a nasty cough and a stern scolding from your mother. <laughs> but I felt wonderful nonetheless. I'm sorry. I had no idea what I was getting us both into. But I couldn't bear to see you like that. Before we left, my chambermaid told me she'd overheard your mother talking about my marriage prospects with some of the noblewomen at court. They were debating whether it would be more profitable to marry me off to one of the high houses instead of saving me for the ducal line. No one thought to ask me what I wanted. I was nothing to them. A pawn at best. I felt so trapped. So lonely. I didn't know. But I wasn't alone. You were there. Your hand in mine as we ran for those oaks. And I knew then, no matter what happened, I would be all right. I'll never forget that feeling. Before we broke camp, the morning after the storm, do you know what I did? No? What? I slipped away from my governess to climb the tour. And from there I saw a sea of petals, all reaching for the sun. And I realized... That no matter how terrible the night, dawn would always come. That, that you, that you would always come for me. And you have, again and again. <sighs> Where do you see us, when all this is over? I don't know. Not here, though. I think I've outgrown the twins. After everything we've been through, the realm just seems so small. I'll need some space to spread my wings. Then... 
That's what you'll have. And I'll stop at nothing to see that you do. I never was much good at garlands, <laughs> but it'll have to do. I'll treasure it forever. Thank you, Blythe. For this, the flowers, for everything. It's exactly what I needed. You are my treasure. We should probably be getting back. I expect the others are wondering where we are. You're right. There's still much to do. And we'll do it together. No, oh, cool. We could have done this earlier and had uh, even more help. With the bounties, that is. I think what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the hideaway, and then after the hide after we get to the hideaway, we're going to end the video. Alrighty, everyone, I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, go ahead and hit the thumbs down button and let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night. Whatever time it may be in your part of the world, Mr. John Wayne, signing off.